discombobulated. Discombobulated. <laughs> Have you ever felt really embarrassed after making a mistake when speaking in English? What if I told you that native speakers make mistakes too? If I was. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not correct. In today's video, I am sharing with you common mistakes that native speakers make too. Hi everyone and welcome to the Eva channel. My name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. You do know we have an awesome app where you can learn English with your favorite movie characters, books and games. Well, Maybe you don't know that Eva is now available in 34 languages. We've made it easy for you to access our unique courses in your language. Because we believe that English should unite the world. So, what are you waiting for? Get the link in the description to try Eva. Okay. So, let's get started with the first mistake that native speakers make. Fewer and fewer. Less. That is confusing the two words less and fewer. Less and fewer are very similarly used, right? It means not as much, right? Or not as many. Less. Fewer. However, there is a key grammatical difference between them. We use the word less with uncountable words and uncountable nouns. For example, I want less milk, less rice, less time, and so on. However, fewer is used for countable nouns. So we need to say, I made fewer mistakes. I have fewer pens. Less welfare. Less healthcare, less housing. Each generation is having fewer and fewer kids. The second mistake, you know how your and your sound exactly the same? In your book. Oh, you're beautiful. However, they are spelled differently. So you're gonna say your and spell it Y-O-U-R. This is my book. This is your book. And the other one is you are. In spoken, it's pronounced as your, right? You're happy today. And that one is going to be spelled as Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. You are. For example, native speakers can write sentences such as I hope you're well. And they would write your instead of your. You are. The third mistake is what we call in English faulty parallelism. And then if you say, I like cooking, reading, and watch movies, then here there is a mistake. If you used ing for the first one and ing for the second one, you need to use an ing for the third one. So you need to say, I like cooking, reading, and watching movies. Fourth mistake is good versus well. Well and good. If you say, yeah, Darren's team played good. Well, here there's a mistake because we use good to describe the object or the thing. So the team is good. But you should say, the team played well. Because I'm describing the action. So well describes how they played, not the team. Well played, Phoebe Buffet. Well <laughs> Next mistake is extremely common among native speakers. You know how we say in English, I could have done it. I should have done it. I would have done it. And then when you're speaking, you're going to say, I could have done it. I should have done it. The problem here that have or apostrophe VE is spelled as off. So you will see very often native speaker writing, I could have done it. But it's actually, I could have 
I could have done it. I could have done it. Last mistake, and it is the worst mistake by far. That is. Some native speakers refuse to use M, is, are, or do, does with plural and singular. You all know Sam Smith's song. Mommy don't know that is getting hot. Mommy doesn't know. Mommy doesn't know. You can even sing it the same way. Why don't instead of doesn't? Remember, he, she, it, s. He doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Sometimes also they say you was or they was instead of saying you were and they were. They were they were antique. Thanks for watching today's video. In my next video, I'm helping you level up and teaching you alternatives to 10 overused words in English that make you sound like a beginner. So go ahead, click here and check it out.